What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. Since I'm talking about Scream 6 in this video here again today and talking about Hayden Pantier, Kirby Reed, who we know will be making her return after surviving the events of Scream 4 in the upcoming Scream 6. So we got our first image of Hayden on set what appears like she's getting ready to shoot scenes as Kirby. We know this weekend from August 5th, I believe, through today, August 7th, they're shooting out at McGill University still. And we did get a image of Hayden on set shared by the official Scream Twitter account. And there was also some footage that someone captured of her walking around the set of Scream 6 shooting Kirby scenes as Kirby, of course. So it's nice to know that she's there on set finally. So this was the image that was shared over on the official account where we see her and what i would imagine is only the trailer and jasmine is in there visiting her jasmine had already expressed excitement about getting to make a movie together with with hayden uh this doesn't mean that they will have scenes together i know that's the hope that we have going into this that they will have at least one two maybe a couple scenes together and i've talked about it on this channel where i think it would be best if they try to work up something where they have the audience kind of have to play this game of who do i like more do i like kirby more do i like mindy more because one of them undoubtedly will have to die uh, i'm not saying that they necessarily have to as much as it is one of them seems like they will die um, and i think it would just be a very good thing to do where you hype it up and put the audience in a scenario where they have to pick which character they like the most um, when it comes time for one of them to die so then we had this image here shout out to anthony i i'll leave a link to your twitter account i know you were the one who shared these images so shout out to you this is the image that was captured of hayden on set shooting a scene from yesterday i believe and i know some people were going on about what looks like she has on a wig she honestly doesn't look all that bad and we do need to wait for the official look of the movie before i say we judge it all together from what it looks like she might be wearing if that is indeed a wig um because it could look better on screen <laughs> but hayden herself made it known that she actually reached out to radio silence about returning to scream six or or being a part of scream six now that again is not to say that they didn't already have the plans in motion for that hayden could again have been someone who was very excited about it and she just hadn't heard from them so she reached out and talk to them about it and we know that they had plans for Hayden to appear in some capacity in screen five after a zoom meeting they had with her but they ultimately didn't want to have her shoehorned in so they went ahead and did the easter egg to confirm her survival so that was a nice nugget we got in screen five and now we're going to get her full-fledged return in screen six many of us are excited about it she at this point i would say has indeed beat those opening kill allegations now the thing about it is she kind of already herself more or less this is all all but confirming it now at this point she more or less kind of confirmed it herself in that interview she had a few weeks ago when she was asked about whether or not she could talk about if kirby makes it out of the opening sequence or if she'll be around for the long haul her response was like i don't think i can tell you that but i don't think fans will be disappointed so kind of in how i was interpreting that uh, kind of answering saying that yes she's in the opening but she'll make it out alive just like tara made it out alive in screen five and again that's not to say that they aren't going to then kill somebody in the opening of scream six but she'll have a terror like moment if she's gonna make it out alive if she's in the opening which it seems like she is and she's just gonna survive but this is the other image that i know you shared anthony that had a lot of people talking because they were like oh are they just doing a recreation of the randy randy death scene in scream 2 with mindy or chad or one of them since they were meeks martin i don't think that they're going to do that just because there's a van that you see here in the image the van is what got people thinking that i don't think they're doing that if anything it'd probably be best to have this van in the movie and use it as a way to build tension in whatever the sequence is that plays out whether that be with mindy or chad or some other character because the van the minute it appears for for the diehard screen fans and just anyone else who's like a casual screen viewer if you've seen these other screen movies when you see somebody approaching that van and maybe they have their back turned or something you'll get all this like like the tension can just swell up depending on how it's being executed and how it's being framed to you on your screen you know you're gonna start thinking about there are, there are meeks randy died in the van but then it doesn't happen 
they can easily go past the van and die somewhere else that's what i think they should do so basically like a fake out that would be a good way to just build tension and suspense have people think that they are going to go there again but then they don't they do something different and the van's presence can just be a way to kind of nod at the death of randy from scream 2 but then you up you up it in a way and how his niece or nephew are about to die because they're not going to die the same way in that van if they do the van death that's fine i mean honestly i don't really care one way or another i just hope the entire movie of course would not end up being a movie filled with recreations of moments from the previous scream movies like blatantly like that so we'll see how that goes honestly it does seem like one of them are gonna go mindy or chad one of them is gonna have to go out of the two or both of them could go because of the fact that it's been clear as day now that they're shooting this movie out of order because the other thing that anthony shared on twitter was jasmine on set and what i can only assume was her arriving to the area of where that van was where we also saw hayden at so it's like okay a lot of people for a long time thought that Jasmine was done shooting because she had not been shooting any scenes for a while. But now that she's uh, presumably back shooting more scenes, that's an indication they're shooting out of order. And of course, that they're shooting a lot of scenes at the university. Shooting is expected to, to, to wrap pretty soon. And they're already just now shooting scenes at the university. That's not to say that they couldn't have been doing it before. We just now heard about it right now. But it's clear that they're shooting the college sequences that most likely will be placed at the start of the movie at the very end which indicates that they are filming out of order which is how most productions do go to avoid leaks and all these other things and it also seems like the cast are indeed not allowed to leave because some of them if not a few of them must be done but they're not allowed to leave set and I know for the most part, it seemed like Scream 5 was actually shot in order. So it's nice to know that with Scream 6, even though there might be some sequences that are shot in order, a lot of it seems to be shot out of order to keep you on your toes and keep you guessing and go into the movie with uncertainty and not have everything all figured out like a lot of us did with Scream 5. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. What did you think about that Hayden image? Or are you excited that you finally got a first shot of her on set? If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications in this video. Do you think they're recreating the the randy death from scream 2 um i'll leave a link to all my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video